Everybody, welcome to another Ignition uh, Hackathon event. Uh, joining us today, we have Amol and Sahil from QuickNode. They're going to run through some node infrastructure stuff, talk about RPC, I'm sure, um, and they, they have a great uh, presentation prepared for you. So Amol, Sahil, kick it off. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate you having us here. Um, we're so excited just to talk to you guys in terms of just uh, how QuickNode can help you in terms of uh, winning this hackathon. Um, so thank you for having us. Um, my name is Amal Shah, the VP of Revenue here at QuickNode. I'm joined by my partner in crime, Sahil, uh, who's our developer evangelist. I'll let him say hello. Hey. Hey, guys. Uh, and so today, what we wanted to cover with you all is just an introduction. So what the heck is Node Services? Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, how I explain it to my mom, uh, how nerds, Node Services can help you in terms of shipping your project faster so you can win this hackathon. Uh, and then Sahil will walk you all through a how-to demo so you can check out some of the features that QuickNode offers uh, and then um, play around with it in a little bit more detail. So, uh, just in terms of what is, you know, who is QuickNode and what is Nodes as a service? So we are a proud Miami-based uh, blockchain startup. Uh, what we do is we provide Nodes as a service. Uh, so what is that? So in order to access uh, the blockchain or to read to the blockchain or to the write to the blockchain, you need something called a node or an endpoint. Um, and what QuickNode does is we provide essentially the services to connect to the, those nodes or endpoints. Um, and so in the same way, right, that you have all of these different apps that are built on top of um, Amazon or Azure, right? What QuickNode is attempting to do is basically being like this infrastructure layer that helps a lot of amazing Web3 pro uh, projects connect to um, the blockchain. Um, so the best way of describing it sometimes is just we, we're the picks and shovels of this ecosystem. Um, and we have a bunch of amazing investors and backing. So we will be around um, and we're hoping to scale as you all scale. So three big takeaways, right, in terms of just how node providers like QuickNode can help you. Um, so one is in terms of when you are uh, building an endpoint, right, you can, you can either build it in-house and that takes a lot of time and effort, uh, or you can use a public endpoint, but there's all sorts of issues which we'll go into in terms of, of why public endpoints can sometimes be difficult and challenging. Uh, and so if you use a service like QuickNode, you don't have rate limits. And that's really important when you're scaling up your project or app. Um, scale in terms of being able to handle right major spikes in demand if you're an nft project and you have a big drop coming up uh, or if you are an eco or if you're doing an ico or an i um, something like that uh, usually you see big spikes in demand so you want a service that can handle it and then lastly there's pricing uh, which is elastic and so as you use more of the service as you get more customers um, then you have access to volume discounts but at the same time um, if you're not having a lot of demand, then you don't need to pay as much either. So that's pretty flexible from uh, a project owner standpoint. And, uh, you know, don't take our word for it. So I, I just cribbed this from uh, one of the presentations just yesterday. And so it was from Tristan at Zeta. Uh, they won the hackathon last time, right? And so, um, at the end of the day, right, the most important thing is how can we help you uh, go to market faster and how can you help you win the hackathon? So um, one of his, his slides, and it was a real key story during his presentation yesterday around how to win your first Solana hackathon, um, was basically around just how RPC, uh, how the setup for that was something which took a lot of time. And so he described how um, they decided, or they didn't know about uh, these nodes as a service um, types of, of offerings. And so they tried to build this in-house and they were up until two o'clock in the morning. You can see that picture on the right uh, where they were linking together a bunch of their different computers to different hotspots so that they weren't um, facing rate limits, which they were dealing with because they were using the public endpoint. Uh, and so, the biggest takeaway is if you don't want to be up until two o'clock in the morning when you are launching your project and you only have, I think, four weeks until the end of this hackathon, 
uh, use a service like QuickNote because what we can do is we can avoid situations like what's on the right. Um, that's the simplest way of, of trying to describe it. And um, it's a way for you to go to market faster and sooner. And there's just a couple of other things in terms of just uh, some feedback that we've gotten from some major customers. Um, so Solana Souls and Solmanders, two major NFT projects use QuickNode um, to provide, uh, to, to power their, their drops and they were able to handle the, the um, sort of the, the high spikes in demand, something which is really important. Uh, and so we we're pretty proud about that. And then lastly, uh, it goes back to the elastic pricing model that's something which is really important, right? Because as you're thinking about how to not have a ton of upfront costs, if you're not thinking about spending um, all your developers' time building a node in-house, use something like nodes as a service, use something like QuickNode, um, where essentially you have the ability to flex uh, your cost structure. And that's something which we're really um, excited to bring to the community. I think the last thing though is for everybody that's part of this hackathon. So um, we worked with the, the team over at the Solana Foundation, um, the best price is free. So we we're able to offer QuickNode uh, and the uh, access, full access to Solana mainnet, testnet or devnet um, to all the different participants of this hackathon. So definitely check us out. Uh, there's a link which you can see there, quicknode.com slash Solana Hackathon. There's also the dev post uh, that is that a lot of you all are accessing to, to get information in terms of resources and, and things like that. You'll find a link there. Um, it's trial, you know, no rate limits or anything to um, any of the quick note services. So you can have your own uh, Solana endpoint booted up and ready to go. So uh, in case you missed it, rate limits are, te are terrible. Uh, and so just a sort of a endorsement and a shout out from our, our good friend Anatoly over at the Solana Foundation. Check out QuickNode. Uh, it's definitely an alternative. And I think it's, it's going to be a way for you all to scale up your projects faster to avoid those 2 a.m. moments. Uh, and with that, let me turn it over to Sahil, who can give you a demo in terms of just how the service works. Yeah. Thank you so much, Amol. And uh, that was a great uh, representation of what QuickNode does and what a hosted node provider is. So let me just quickly show you how to sign up for QuickNode and then just give you a small demo of how to use your QuickNode in your project. So um, let me share my screen right now. All right. So once you're on the quicknode.com website, just fill in your details and create the account and uh, verify your email. Once you have done that, you should be presented with a page similar to this, but you won't be having any nodes because your account will be a new one. So you'll have to go to create node, select any plan which you like based on the limits or based on the calls you want to make. I'm just going for the launch plan over here and then select the chain. So Solana, obviously, and then select the network. So that we have mainnet, testnet, and des devnet, all of the supported, and then continue the billing. And then just fill out the details and that's it. You should be having a node. And uh, now let me show you how the node dashboard actually looks. So you just have to click on nodes. Once you have set up your node and it will load up the nodes page. And uh, let me find a Solana node real quick for you. So right here, this node, Frosty Floral River is a Solana node. So once you have set up your Solana node, it looks something similar to this. And you'll be having a HTTP provider, a WebSocket provider. You can simply click here to copy the provider URL and plug it into your apps. So with QuickNode, you don't just get the URLs of HTTP and WebSocket providers, but you also get additional features like metrics, security, billing, and help. So you'll be having visibility into the number of calls you have made, the latest blog, the client your validator is using. And you also, you'll be also having the method call breakdown in this page, but this is an internal node. So th that's why it's om omitted. And now let's look at the security features. So we have a bunch of security features to make sure that you are the only person in possession of your node, right? 
So you can turn on and off the token based authentication, which is right here. This is the token, this random number of string. This is the token. You can turn that on and off from here. You can even roll that token. So if you ever feel that someone else has possession of your node, you can simply roll the token and uh, the old URL won't work anymore and you'll have a new URL. You can also add referrers in your node so that just the website which you are using or just the website of your project who is making direct requests to the node will be having access to the node. No other website or no other system can have access to the node after that. You can also mask the your node so that you can have a custom URL of your node which is right here and that's it you can then go to help and uh, yeah you will have you'll be have you'll be presented with the different guides and blogs we have right here so now let's quickly see how we can actually use this node right so i have this really simple html and js file which is a small solana blog explorer so this is just a basic boilerplate HTML code. And uh, the main part, which is right here, I am importing the Solana Web3.js library over here. And then I am importing the node, which is over here. So you just have to replace this part, which says add your quick node here with your quick node URL. And that's it. So let me quickly explain the all the other functions which are used in this. So I've, I've simply used a set interval function of JavaScript to run this script after 5ms, which is milliseconds. So after that, I'm using the get epoch function to get the current epoch and uh, then printing the absolute slot, block height, epoch, and the transaction count of that epoch into different columns. So let me quickly run this file for you. So now this should start giving out e purchase. Okay, I think I have not saved the file. All right. Okay. I think I have, I'm having some problem with my node. So let me just quickly do one thing. I'm so sorry. Till then, Amul, you can explain them about the archive feature of the Solana nodes we have. Yeah, sure. So um, this is something which we're really excited about. So for uh, this isn't a feature that everybody uses, but for analytics providers, for people who are looking at historical data from like, uh, if you're looking at old trades, things like that, most node services, they usually provide um, just the last 128 blocks, so the most recent blocks. That's what you typically get when you access, um, you know, like a node through Infura or some other kind of service like that. Full node services take a lot of resources, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, and so it's not something which is really offered. Uh, but we just recently announced um, that we are, I think, one of the only ones that's providing archive mode um, access to Solana. And so that means that you get all historical data going all the way back to the, the first block. Uh, and so that is something which has, I think, a lot of value for certain applications and users. And it's something which we just announced uh, a couple weeks ago. And so you can check it out. In fact, anybody who accesses Quick Node through um, the sort of the, the trial that we have for all the Solana, um, the, this hackathon, uh, would have access to the archive data as well. So we're throwing that in. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah. So. Let me quickly get to the Solana Explorer. I'll just need one moment.
All right. So I have it right here. Let me quickly share my screen. Okay. So as you can see, this script is printing out new approaches after every five millisecond. And uh, the columns which you can see are, this is the absolute slot, this is the block number, this is the epoch, and this is the transaction count of that particular epoch. So this should be the latest block right now, which is block height. And yeah, it's that simple. It's just plug and play. You just have to copy the URL from the quick note dashboard and then plug it into your application. And you'll be good. So say here, but uh, it's just plug and play. And uh, I will go on talking about more benefits of the QuickNode API. With the QuickNode API, you get access to the global network, to our global network of nodes, so that if a cluster in an area goes down, you have follower or failover benefits, so that your requests are always served. We make sure that your requests are always served. Even if a cluster in your region goes down, it may take some while to your request to get served because your request get, get routed to from another region, but it's always served. So yeah, I'll quickly close this and uh, go to the last slide, Amol. Yes, quick question. I just seen this. Um, is there a way that you can show us the previous step where you plugged in the quick note RPC URL. Yeah, sure. That runs benefit. I think there was an issue where we were trying to share the whole screen. And... All right, so I'm hoping that my screen is visible now. Yep. Okay. So it was right here. Oh, by the way, I'll be sharing like, I'll be sharing the link to this repository for this Solana Explorer in the Discord of the hackathon. So like if any, any one of you wants to hack with this or build on top of this, you can do that. So it's right here on line 67. So I'm just instantiating a Solana Web3 object and then connecting it to a HTTP provider, which is QuickNode. So let me again copy the URL. So you just have to click this button, copy the URL and plug it right here. And that's it. Thank you, Vivid underscore truth. Appreciate it. Do we have any other questions? I think we got everybody. So I, the huge benefit is it's as easy as it can be. So the good thing is um, you guys can all check it out and let us know in terms of how you think about it, what you feel, if you use it for any of your projects. Uh, we're excited in terms of uh, seeing all the output that comes out of this hackathon. Super excited to be part of the Solana ecosystem. Um, it's an amazing time. So thanks everyone. Yeah, and make sure to follow us on Twitter and check our guide section. We post daily guides to help our community. And we are also coming up with new Solana guides. We already have a few of them right now. And we will be coming with more soon. So thank you, everyone. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Solana Foundation. Yep. Thank you both for joining. Really great uh, demo. And um, hopefully, people will check out QuickNote. Um, this will be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for joining.